Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am really excited about today's video because I have been waiting for this new eyeshadow palette to come for a long time. So that is the Hasina 2 by Blush Tribe. Now, Blush Tribe is an indie brand that I haven't tried before. This is the first thing that I've ever gotten from them. I've definitely had my eye on things from them before and just haven't gone through with it for whatever reason. And this one, I mean, there was literally no other option than for me to get this palette when I saw it. And when I open it, I think that you will see why. So it comes with a sleeve, it just looks exactly like the palette itself. And it looks like this. So, if you've been around for a little bit or if you know me, you know that I love purple. So when I saw this, I just, oh, I thought it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I love the fact that it has purples, different tones of purples. It has a couple blues, but then it also has all those greens. I just loved it and I knew that I was gonna get it. And I saw that it was available for pre-sale. So I just jumped on it. I thought, why not? Um, they always have some type of discount code that you can use. I used my friend Paulina Beauty's discount code. And I can put that down below if you want to use her code. So after I bought this during the pre-sale, it said it was going to ship mid to late August. So this is an indie brand from the UK, just to jump back and explain that. So it basically said in the email once I bought it, that once it did ship out, it could take two to three weeks to get to me. So I knew that it could take a little bit of time and plus, of course, I pre-ordered it. So I, I don't remember how long ago I pre-ordered it, but quite a few months ago. And so it finally did ship to me pretty much the end of August, which is fine. That was within the time that they told me. And it did get to me a full three weeks later. So it took a while. I was definitely feeling a little impatient, but I mean, that was definitely within the time that they told me. The only thing that was a little bit frustrating was the fact that it said that I wasn't going to be able to track it until it got to the US, but I don't know when that happened. I don't know when it got to the US because I never was able to figure out where to find a tracking number. It basically, at the bottom of the email, it said, you know, USPS tracking, and then there was nothing where a tracking number would be. And I actually emailed the company and asked them about it because I've never ordered from them before and I didn't know if that number was going to show up later, if I was gonna be able to get that somehow, and I never heard back. That's okay, and I did end up getting it, but it was just a little bit frustrating not knowing when I was going to get it and not being able to track it and know when to expect it. Not a huge deal, just something to let you know in case you live in the US and you're thinking of ordering from them. But it arrived in perfect condition, so no problems there. So what I'm gonna be doing today is basically a first impression on this. I haven't tried this palette and I haven't tried, like I said, anything from Blush Tribe at all. So this is basically my first impression on this palette and the brand in general. And I will say when I got the palette, I got this really nice note with it and it basically gave me a code for 25% off my next order, which is really smart, <laughs> um, but also really nice because I think I got 10% off of this with the code that I used. Um, so 25% off is really nice. So I definitely might have to use that in the future. Plus it doesn't say that there is a, any type of expiration date on this. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted because there have definitely been other palettes that have intrigued me from them. Um, so I don't know, we'll have to see how this one goes. I am so, so excited. I'm definitely gonna have to incorporate some of those purples, but I might have to incorporate some of those greens. I don't know. This is not going to be a full review, obviously. It's just going to be a first impression on it. So I'm going to prime my eyes first with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Fix. I will note that the shade Fix has not been my favorite. I don't notice that it causes me any issues with the longevity of a shadow, the vibrancy, you know, I don't notice any creasing or anything like that. Um, and I'll get more in detail about that in the future, but just to point that out, I don't love this one, but it works fine. It's not going to affect the quality of the shades. Just in case you see me talk about that primer in the future and you're like, hey, wait, but she used that with her first impression of the Hasina 2 palette. Just wanted to let you know. It's not affecting the shadows. It's just not my favorite for other reasons. So. All right, so now this is the tricky part because it's just so beautiful and I don't know where to start. 
it's like I just want to play with everything you know I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a purple crease and you know all purple kind of you know on that part and then put like a shimmery green on my lid and then put some greens on the bottom lash line I think that's what I'm thinking hopefully that turns out okay so I'm gonna start off with the shade iris which is like a a light purpley pink color that doesn't seem to have too much kick up at least I don't know you know how intense these are um, you know, we'll just kind of see. This is definitely a lighter shade. I'm kind of, I'm digging into this quite a bit because I'm not too worried, you know, about fallout because I have not, obviously, obviously, I have not done my foundation or anything like that yet. And I did that on purpose because I just didn't know what I was dealing with here. I've certainly seen a lot of these palettes reviewed from different people that I watch, even this one. But, you know, I want to form my own opinion and I want to see how it works for me. That's nice that builds up really nicely and it's very pretty and I like that it's still looking purple it's not looking like too pink but it's blending very easily and there's really not a whole lot of kick up it's not bad so now I'm going to go into the shade Mohan this dark purple right here which I have heard some people having some blending issues with it so we'll just have to see if, um, you know see how it works for me this one has a a lot of pigment um, and still not a bad amount of fallout it doesn't look like it I'm not tapping off my brush or anything like that because I'm not too concerned about it Ooh, it's a really pretty color though really pretty I've definitely liked doing my eyes first lately when I can just because then I don't have to worry about fallout I don't have to worry about being light-handed and I can always clean it up. So I've preferred doing that anyway lately, but so far I haven't been getting any fallout even from like packing the shade on a little bit. And even if this is a little bit harder to work with, this purple, which so far it's seeming okay. Um, I mean, I haven't tried to blend it out too much yet, so we'll see, but, um, but purples are famously hard to formulate. They're just tricky shadows. You know, I don't mind that as long as it looks as beautiful as it does right here. Oh my God, how pretty is that? really really pretty but you can see i mean I, i'm having to work with it a little bit you can see it just patches up a little bit there but we'll, we'll figure it out we'll get it there okay so my camera stopped filming great um but basically what i was saying was you know it definitely gets a little bit patchy there you just have to be a little bit patient with it i will go back in and fix it a little bit but it may not be perfect and that's okay i'm okay with that but it is just a little bit trickier to work with than that first shade that I used. I also said that I was going to go in and just put a little bit of glitter base right here because I always do that with my shimmers just because I get transfer up here and this helps with that. So that's the only reason I do that. I do that with all of my shimmers. I also was saying that I would have normally maybe in this situation tried to do like a half cut crease, but I wanna see how they do mostly on their own. I may still go in and wet it, but I'm gonna first try and see how it looks without that. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Jade. I'm gonna be daring today. I'm gonna to kinda of mix and match a little bit more than I normally would. This color is just calling to me, it's so pretty. Um, all right, I got a good amount on my brush. Let's see how it does uh, without being wet. I probably am gonna to need to wet this even with the base. I think so. I'm gonna have to wet it, which I don't mind. You may mind that, I really don't. That's typically what I do with shimmers anyway. Yeah, that is way better. So I would suggest wetting these. It's pretty rare that you find a shimmer that's gonna be really what you want it to be without wetting it. Just going back in and kind of patting through the middle there to try and make it a little bit smoother of a transition, which almost makes a little bit of like a blue in the middle there. Um, I thought about putting one of the other shades in the middle there, but I don't know. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a precise brush now and go back into that first light purple shade and just kind of get into this part here to blend a little bit better. I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this ash color just to deepen like the very edge. Like literally just tap it in and just 
do that so that it gets a little bit darker in that outer corner. Just a tiny bit. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the top right now. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then we'll come back to do the lower lash line. Okay, so the rest of my face is done. If you are curious what else I am wearing, just check the description box. I will put everything down there for you. But let's keep going. That there really isn't anything for highlighting, um, no matter what your skin tone actually. And that doesn't bother me because this is just like a palette where I can certainly do like basically a full look except for the highlight shades. Um, which I don't mind using like, you know, whatever highlighter I'm using as my inner corner, which is probably what I'm going to do actually. And you know, if I need other shades, I don't mind pulling them out. And if you're somebody who doesn't want to use all, you know, colors for a look, then you would have to pair it with something else. But again, that doesn't bother me. I have plenty of neutrals and other things if I wanted to do that. So I'm going to do the lower lash line and then I'll do the inner corners. And I think what I'm going to do, because even though this is green here, it almost looks a little like bluish green just because I'm pairing it with the purples and things like that. And so I think it will look more green, you know, if I paired it with the greens, but I'm gonna take this shade Re, which is sort of like a, it's almost like a peacock green. I really like it, it's very pretty. Um, I'm gonna take that, I think, on my lower lash line. So, so pretty. I love that shade. That I am going to tap off just a tiny bit, even though it doesn't look like there's a lot of kick up. But I just, now that I have my face done, I want to be a little more careful. And I'm going to kind of pull it up a little bit just so that it goes with it a little better. It's really pigmented. Very, very pretty. Really do like that shade. I'm going to take this shade, Monique. I'm gonna put that on my inner corners and then I probably am gonna top it with a highlight shade just to like brighten it up because I don't think it's gonna be, you know, as bright as I want it to be. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and spray this because we saw how the other shimmer performed. So I just wanna go ahead and wet it and not waste my time. <laughs> it actually is pretty bright. It's very pretty. Um, I think I just wanna tap like a tiny, tiny bit of a highlight though, just to brighten it up a tiny bit more, but I wouldn't be mad at that. I really wouldn't. So I'm gonna take, I used this highlight palette from BH Cosmetics, this black light palette. This is great for like even just inner corner highlights. And I'll take a little bit of, cause I don't really wanna change the color of it. So I'll just take this strobe, this like whitish one. Um, has a little bit of a pinky reflect, but mostly it's white. I'll just kind of tap that over top. See, that brightens it up a lot. And so I could have like just used this black light palette, you know, as an inner corner highlight. I could have used, you know, I could have used like the blue in here, or, you know, any of these other colors if I really wanted to like just highlight with something not in this palette completely. You know, just something to keep in mind that it is missing that if that's something that matters to you. I think this actually matches that lower lash line pretty nicely. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Whirlpool. Oof, do I want to use that one though or this lavender one in Mist Me? I wish you guys were like live so I could have you like vote which one I should wear. Um, I think this might look too crazy if I put that there. It would still look pretty, I think, but this one's just going to kind of match that lower lash line. My daughter's awake. She's just gonna have to wait. Yeah, that like matches it so well. Oh my gosh, okay. Really pretty. Okay, I'm going to do my mascara and put on some lips. If you were a lash person, then I would probably say put on lashes with this look. I am too lazy for that. So I'm just going to do mascara. So I'll see you in a sec. So this is the finished look. So. First impressions, I'm loving it. I'm really excited about it. I think that the colors are so vibrant and they really look the way you want them to on your eyes. Obviously I have not used all of these shades so I'm gonna have to continue to use it. So definitely stay tuned to hear my final thoughts. I will do a full review on this palette, but if there are other type of looks that you'd like to see with this palette, like in particular, then let me know. I will definitely film some more with this though. I'd love to do, you know, some more with the blues and then maybe like 
just a green look or you know green and blue also let me know in the comments below if there are other products that you want to see me use for the first time or review i would love to hear from you i hope you enjoyed seeing me play with this palette for the first time and also play with a blush tribe palette for the first time let me know if you have tried blush tribe and if you do what you like from them what palettes do you think are amazing so far i am very very excited to try more from their brand if you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around, and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.